Maxwell Chikambut, the video that we made on him actually brought a lot of comments. And thank you, you know, if uh, you are part of those on who put comment and, you know, started having a discussion where everybody has thoughts, right? And, you know, it's okay to come put your thought. But one thing that was missed from the video is our goal to bring out principles. Remember, our channel is about bringing awareness for human and economic development, sustainable human and economic development. And by this is, uh, you know, being done through sharing, you know, principles that we can use as tools within ourselves and then around us. So those comments brought the whole team just to really uh, categorize them. And, uh, you know, there are three main things that are coming out that we wanted to share with you in this video. Stay all the way to the end and tell us what you think about things that we observe. <laughs> So yes, Maxwell Chikambutu, so many other inventors, okay, have existed. So before we go further, right, a couple of things that I would like to, you know, uh, mention before even we, we, we dig in the three things that we would like to share with you. And like I said, if this is your first time, don't hesitate, right? You know, uh, make sure that you subscribe, you know, or you, you know, um, uh, you activate the notification bell so that everything that we produce, things that we are sharing, okay, you can still be in touch, you can still be in, um, you can still be informed on things that we actually choose to share. So, remember that our journey started with one simple proverb. When you don't know where you're going, look back from where you came from. In our humanity, everything is there. Nothing new is created in the universe. Things are, being, uh, things are evolving. That's where innovation comes from. So like I was saying, very quick things I would like to, you know, uh, fix here. First of all, when people are complaining, he shouldn't be going to US and all that. We need to remind you that he was already in financial trouble with his company. From his own country, he was already poisoned. You can do your own research. Already from his, uh, his home country, people were not really buying the product or helping the business he was actually building behind the idea or behind the innovation or the creation. They were not even buying that. Otherwise, the company will not be in trouble. So one thing I'm, I'm pointing out at this level is that be among ourselves, Africans, we still have to work on coming together to work around something. We shouldn't be blaming always the other side. Now, remember, it was true uh, in the research, I think it's a Foster Gamble, right? You can do your research on him, Foster Gamble, who's, um, uh, who's uh, a producer, okay? Who actually brought more um, uh, awareness of visibility, okay, on things that... Uh, Maxwell Shkumbut was doing. So there is no blame here to do because what, what will he do under that? He's being poisoned in his own country and somebody is offering you maybe an alternative or solution. We can't blame him for that. Now remember the video initially was not done. Maybe the team will put the video again here, right? It was not done to judge or say what was um, um if his creation was truthful, is a scam. But with your comment, we also learn a lot. So basically, what I wanted to bring out here is all the comment we're reading, right? First of all, remember, everything, principles, we all have access to the same principles. Innovation. Innovation doesn't just happen in thin air. You have to be inspired. You have to, you know, to, to take something that somebody was doing to bring it to the next level. And the, even if you notice how human evolution is happening, we're not the same than a million years ago. And Maxwell Chikumbutu himself have been mentioning that he was inspired by uh, Nikola Tesla. You can do your research. 
So something about what he was doing inspired him to start like looking into the source of energy that he did. And I just love how by being inspired by that, he did some research. Is it true? Is it a scam? Is it fake? We don't know. Follow us very well. But the principles behind this, how can that serve you? How that can, can that serve our communities? Now, he's mentioned already also that he received his message, you know, from God. Call it how you want. Allah, you know, uh, um, you know, awareness, um, karma, um, whatever name you put in there. I love how Einstein mentioned this once. I think uh, I will, uh, I will uh, make sure I read through it properly, okay? So, the intuitive mind is a sacred gift and the rational mind is is a faithful servant. We have created a society that honors the servant and has forgotten the gift. Albert Einstein. That's very powerful to understand. This is a person who's telling you that the intuitive mind, the intuition in him have guided him to do things that we have seen about him that are marvelous. You and I, we have the intuition. And then for Maxwell Shikumbutu, for him, right, is the inside voice, the inner voice, however you want to call it. You know, receiving those messages, right, receiving that through his intuition, receiving that from God is okay. Don't be bothered by the name. But again, the principle, we are all human beings. What makes us equal, the one thing that doesn't change is our intuition. Never lie to us. Steve Jobs also put it in a different word, right? I may, okay, I may maybe find uh, the quote and put in the comment, right? But again, intuition, that's, this is the second thing. The first thing, inspiration from prior people for innovation, evolution. Nikola Tesla was his inspiration. And then the intuition, which he qualified, you know, for him, you know, God, Call it how you want, okay? The name doesn't matter. The inner voice, we all have that guiding us. Me personally, it never actually, you know, um, it, it, it never lies to me. And it's not something that is accessible just by uh, Maxwell Chikumbutu. Each one of us, depending on what we do with our lives, depending on how we actually work to develop that tool, within us, intuition. So for all the comments going through, you know, the spiritual piece, uh, is, it very, is it really God? Why God didn't, you know, mention to him he will be poisoned and all that. The debate shouldn't actually go that far. He called it God, that's okay. The intuition. If you do your research, many inventors will tell you how there was a higher power like some people will call it, right? Around everything that they made. So we shouldn't be, you know, blaming him for, for that. Intuition. And on our channel, uh, very soon, we'll start actually helping our community to tap into that in business development, to tap into that in professional development, to tap into that in human development. The third thing I'm noticing, right, is good. Actually, when he met uh, with, uh, um, you know, Foster Gamble, I think, right? He's the one with his documentary who brought him to light and who brought him more visibility around the world, right? Years ago, right? Two, three years, maybe, I don't know, years ago, right? But one thing you will notice that he did, and I think is uh, today, that's why our generation, next generation, we shouldn't have reason to whine. And find excuses because the internet is offering us so much that we can do with so apparently he was able to put his IP he was able to put the, the source of his uh, his discovery or his technology right on um, on the blockchain that will be good that's another element that we wanted to precise whoever you are out there you're trying to do something and you feel like you you know capitalize leverage on what technology can offer today there's no excuses 
So in this video, we wanted to bring to light again, these are three key things, right? That we have to be able to keep leveraging on. In one, uh, one of our book, okay, uh, speak, um, sorry, dominate your uh, competition. Okay, I'm sure the link is in the description and all that. We actually share the matrix of innovation. You can also leverage on that to help you out. And when it comes to instinct, when it comes to intuition, we'll be talking a lot about that here because it's the power that we have in, uh, in us individually that we need to be able to leverage on. So let us know what you think about these three things that we mentioned. And then put your comment. We can continue then uh, the discussion. We can help people discover more and more the principles that are accessible to each one of us for all our callings, all our specific missions in this world. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.